What's up, guys? It's the Bad Wolf. Coming at you Mad Wiley style. All right, what are we going to talk about on this particular... Oh, okay, camera. What are we going to talk about on this particular YouTube episode or wherever this video goes? Because Lord knows all the people who splice my videos up. Most are good, awesome people. But then you've got the trolls who want to take just bits and pieces of it, not the whole video, and try to make me look all funny. Well, that's funny. Because... When you do that, you're still spreading the awareness of this information, and then people want to check it out, and then they like and subscribe. So for all those other people out there, please do hit that like and subscribe, because these are your truths. These are your freedoms. These are your liberties. All these are ours, backed and protected by the federal government, the Supreme Court, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Let's get going. All right, so this particular video is going to be about, dun, 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 let's see if I can remember it off the top of my head, 8 U.S.C. 1408, Nationals at Birth. Let's take a look at Jan said information. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully everybody's blessed. Feel blessed. Feel the positive energy coursing through your body. Feel all of that heavenly glory. Quote Bruce Lee, whose um, birthday should be coming up soon, I believe. Um, all right, without further ado, let's get there. Um, oh, with further ado, dang it. Uh, don't forget to check me out on blacksite32.com. Don't forget you guys can join me on the Telegram group in the Bad Wolf uh, un Unincorporated uh, group on there. For those people in chat, we're also on Facebook um under bad wolf unincorporated or else uh the bad wolf you can find me on there you can find all my social media channels on blacksite32.com under the, my social media page just click it add it uh tiktok is showing a lot of love um for me over there um i'm a little bit more personal on there not to say i'm not personal here uh but just kind of talking about real things which is what i'm doing on the youtube backup channel for this channel uh, the Bad Wolf Media Group, all right? So join me on there. I'm going to start uh, pumping out videos, uh, probably a lot more over there. It, some of you guys may not like me on that channel. Some of you guys might love me more because I'm going to be talking about everything. Nobody is safe, all right? So you, come, you, you swing first, I'm going to swing second and harder, all right? But otherwise, we're going to cover a lot of topics. I'm going to cover like things and thought processes. Guys, that channel is going to be fire. All right. Um, you think this one was fun? Oh, see, this this channel over here is the one I go like this with. Yes, yes. Okay, it will be easy. It will be gentle. That one over there, Wolverine versus Dragon versus the Wolf. All right, all in one. We're going in. All right, not too you know, deep, deep, you know, not, we'll say we're not going, um, too bitty deep. All right. But, uh, we will definitely be getting in there like swimwear. All right. So join me in those channels. As always, guys, make sure that you guys are not getting ripped off or scammed as much as I love you guys. Um, I do not have a lot of time. I'm just too busy. Like learning this stuff, guys, I'm, I've learned volumes of information, uh, and I still have not even gotten to all of the stuff um yet so I, I just don't have time to be in the comment section if i get to your email you want to send me one here or there i'll try to if it's not business um it's and it, you know uh the question option you know to chat or the consultations or the court consultations that we have now i it's i don't have a lot of time i apologize guys i just when my channel was smaller it was easier and for free i just don't have the time now but I've done this for thousands upon thousands of people for free. So it is what it is now, guys. Um, popular. And then there's the demand. So but make sure you guys are not being scammed by people pretending to be me or similar names to me or even copying my same names and creating their own channels on things. I will never, ever, ever ask you for money other than here. Use it in just a joking manner. But you can and free, free will donate um, or else Blacksite32.com. That's it. All right. I don't care if you're in one of my groups, my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, Snapchat. Even if you know it's me, it's not me if it's asking money. All right. So I'm not going to do it on there. You guys know where you guys can donate. You can go on Black Site. Anywhere on there is good. 
my exactly spelled groups, my exactly spelled emails, even if it is my group, there are people who pretend to be me in there um, and ask for money. It's not me. Only Black Slide 32. That is it. So do not send me messages. Like, oh, I sent you a thousand dollars. You send me a thousand dollars donation here. And you send somebody pretending to be me a thousand dollars to do some uh, investing for you. Come on. Come on, people. Undo that. Nope. If you want my thoughts on investing something or whatever else, you can email me and ask educational purposes only, or we can sit down and do a consultation. And but I'm not going to single you out for any reason in any of the groups and ask for money. If I do single you out, it'll be just to say, hey, I like what you're doing. Have a good day, you know, or if you message me for sure, and you know, it's me. See, I can't even like, give you a code word because these scammers like to watch my channel. It's like they got scammers watching. I got trolls watching. I got Department of State, Cornell Law, uh, police officers, postal uh, people. Everybody's watching it, you know, but yet, whatever. You guys get it. This is crazy. It's crazy. All right. So anyway, let's get to the video. Shazam. All right. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I know you guys watch my videos. I've either been communicated directly or indirectly um, about all that. It is what it is. I, there's nothing to hide here. You know, because you guys don't know this information, you want to say it's not real. But yet I've showed you every time the files that come from your system. And it's all a part of your legal department, but you won't go to your legal department to ask them if it's real. You won't get your legal department's books to see if it's legal, legal and real. These, this is what's called legal style. Every, every municipality agency of the government thereof has to have information on their legal ins and outs. They all have a, if it's a state and lower, they all have a connection with the UCC because the states are bound and operated under the UCC, not the federal government. And then they will, and then you have to understand how they write things too. Like when they talk about, oh, uh, only a national is only um, somebody in the outlying areas such as, well, the word such as doesn't mean only you morons to those people that applies to. Such as meaning means there are more, but these are examples of a few of them. They didn't put a full itemized list, and I'll show it to you, okay? I'll show you how it works. Come on, man. You want to sit in your little post office box or sit back in your lounge chair or wherever else, and then you think you know something when you don't study this. I've been doing this longer than you guys have been at most of your jobs. I've literally been doing this almost 40 years now and winning in the court, left and right. State level, I haven't gone to federal level, but we'll see what, what transpires in the case I'm working on right now. But we'll get there. I will show, you know what? No, let's just jump in. Water's fine. Come on in. It's going to go P. Diddy on that ass. Let's go. So right here, it says, a person born in an outlying possession of the United States. So let's see what constitutes the United States when used here under Section 1401 of this title. The term United States, except as otherwise specifically here and provided. Okay. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that other places, the definition of the United States may have changed. But they're saying here, it means the geographical sense, because in one version of the United States, one of the definitions, the three main definitions of the United States is the United States in a geographical sense. We'll cover that. It means the body politic. And the other one means the District of Columbia or the corporation located in such. So there are three definitions of the United States. So it says other places except otherwise specifically specific herein provided. So other places, it might be different. Don't talk to me. Don't try to challenge or battle me until you've talked to your legal department 
and you've done your research first, then you might be qualified to have a communicable experience with me. Other than that, I'm just going to ignore your bum ass email or whatever else. Feel how you want to feel. The Constitution protects you, doesn't protect your feelings. Sorry, your feelings got hurt, but you don't know what you're talking about. It's not me just being passionate. It's me being uh, accurate and truthful. You feel some type of way. Feeling doesn't mean nothing in the court of law. You feel like you don't want to go to work, but you still go to work, don't you? Because the agreement you have in place supersedes that. That's an understanding. Your managers know, know what this is. Your legal department knows what this is. But you think you know something because you work on the front desk. You know how many people at the front desk I've proved wrong in their own jobs from banks to post offices to acceptance agents for the passport? Come on, man. But I don't blame you. I'm not mad. Don't take it as that. It's because you don't understand the legality of it, the legal department. You don't. Some of you guys do. My hat goes off to you guys for doing the homework. You know how many people I've beaten with this information that then were like, yeah, you're right. Even some of my own students, people learn from me, think they got a grasp on. Now, I'm not saying I'm Bruce Lee at all of it, but the areas I do know, I'm icy with it. All right. Dylan spit hot fire. So let's go on. So it says, except otherwise specific, specifically herein provided, other places, the word United States might have a, no, a different meaning. But here it means, and then I continue, when used in a geographical sense, this means the real land. They have to put this in here because they're talking about the geographical or continental, the real land. America, United States of America. And it is represented by Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Guam, Virgin Islands and the Commonwealth and Mariana Islands. So when these morons here try to hide it and say, oh, well, you can't be a national. Because see, here's what they did. They only, they said the United States, such as Guam, the they only took this piece of it. Well, how, how can they do that then, Wolf? Because they the either they made a mistake or they or it says United States such as when you see the word such as they're giving you a piece of it. They don't have to put the whole thing. They should see that's even why they shortened it up here. This used to be a longer uh, uh, definition of all the places. But they shorten it up. They now they only got really Alaska and Hawaii. Why? Because they don't want you to know that this means the continental, the, the connected land or the abridged land, Alaska and Hawaii. So that doesn't mean only Alaska and Hawaii have nationals. That means all they assume that you are smart enough to know all of the 50 geographical real land dirt in your hand states. Not the federalized corporation on paper, the state of. Do you see it say state of here? No. Because state of, when you see the word of, what is that? Um, that's a conjunction. The word of is a conjunction. It means you're not getting the real thing. The state of Alaska is a state of Alaska, not actually the real Alaska. Why would you why would you call a state of Alaska if it's really Alaska? It's just Alaska. Why is it a certificate of title? If it's the real title, it should just be called title, the title. Not a certificate of. Certificate of means it's a certification of the original one. So I said right here, the Virgin Islands of the United States. Well, uh, to the local people, it's just the Virgin Islands. So it makes them nationals to their own homeland, but re so recognized as a territory, it's the Virgin Islands of the United States. So it's not the United States, but these are the Virgin Islands of the United States. It's the common Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands. There's two things going on here. There's a partnership. 
So that must mean there's something called the Commonwealth. And then there's the Mary Northern Mariana Islands. So you're right here. It must be something called the Virgin Islands. And then there must be something called the United States. There's a partnership going on here. But we own these directly as our property, our territory. But them locally, they have their own private things going on. But here, our actual states, Alaska, Hawaii, Florida, Wisconsin, Illinois, those names by themselves in upper and lowercase lettering are the de jure geographical continental United States. And that means all 50 of them. But the invisible overlay on top of Alaska is state of Alaska. That's a separate thing. Those are different jurisdictions legally. So when you go to the Department of State, website and you click on the my e verify and you log in and it says or other uh outlying areas 50 states are the outlying areas when they say a parent of a national well nationals are born here in alaska and hawaii and wisconsin and florida your parents were nationals which means you're a national so if you can't understand the law that you don't get it. But most of them, what they're doing now is they're just saying Guam. Such, they'll say such as or example, but they can't, you don't see the word only in front. You don't, do you see the word only in here? No, they can't put the word only because they would be lying and it's a federal offense. And if I see them put only, I'm going to personally sue them. And you should sue them. Whatever department, government, or state, because here's the truth. The continental United States is all of these 50 states in the organic, plus Puerto Rico, Guam, the Virgin Islands, and the Commonwealth of Mariana Islands. Right? So let's get back. Under 8 U.S.C. 1408, there's also 1401, but nationals, but not citizens of the United States at birth. So they're telling you here, you are a national, but not a citizen. You don't have to belong to the city state. You can owe allegiance, but not be one of them. I pledge allegiance to the flag, but you don't have to be a part of the political part, which is being a citizen. The following shall be nationals. Well, let's see who's a national. Now here they use uh, 20, there is no A, but it's just for 8, 11, uh, 8 U.S. 1101, 21. But before, which I said before, when they had the word state hyperlinked, well, now actually that, you know what? Huh, they did it right. Now that they've lowered the S, the small S, which represents the organic state, so now it means that any of those 50 organic states, you are a national if you're born there using such information like Cornell Law, EDU, uh, excuse me, uh, GPO Styles Manual from the government, section 5.23, a native of the several states is a national. And we've already proven that in countless videos, so I'm not going to do it all again here. A person born in an outlying possession of the United States. So a person born in an outlying possession. This means outside the normal jurisdiction of the United States. A person born outside the United States, outside the United States, and its outlying possessions of parents, both of whom are nationals but not citizens and have a residence in the United States. So if you've got residents here and your parents are born outside, these, these are all the ways you can be a national. One of your parents is an alien, but the other one's a national, then you're a national. Both your parents are born to any of the 50 states, organic, geographical sense, you're a national.
during which the national parent was not outside the United States, you're a national. At least five years of which were after attaining the age of 14. National. So this goes to show all those people, first of all, so there's no such thing as a national. So here you go, police officers. Here you go, sheriffs. I know you guys watch it. Most of you guys have been super cool. You guys have really just asked and told me, hey, I'm a, I'm a police officer. I just want to know about this. And then I went ahead and fixed some problems for them. Yeah, because I don't have a problem against them. Only the ones who are ignorant or disobeyed the law or don't understand federal law. Or don't want to learn and think they, they trust their boss. But I get it. They're the ones who pay you your check. And I just sound like a raving mad wolf. The danger at the door, non-belligerent, non-combatant, winding the little piggy's house down. Enjoying your little freedom inside your hut made out of straw. And and for the record, um, the big bad wolf who uh, you know, they they decided they finally supposedly got because he you got they built a little you know, brick house. It didn't work that way. He just waited outside until they got hungry and then he ate all of them. <laughs> ask, ask Disney about the true um, origins and uh, outcomes of those fairy tales that they turn into children fairy tales and classics. Those are not how those stories actually went. Almost none of them have a good ending. Ring Around the Rosie. Pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. You know what that means? It means they died. Or excuse me, they they were unalived. Ring around the rosy was a uh, a disease that they would get. None of those fairy tales actually ended positive that you heard. None of them. They just changed them up to sell them. Because talking about bad stuff doesn't usually sell too well in, in that area. But anyway, so here it is. Point proven. Nationals. It's a real thing. All right. Matter of fact, once again, if you don't believe it, let's go to jump to 1401. But Wolf, everybody's known as a citizen, right? We're born. So you can be a citizen of the United States, born at birth by being born in the District of Columbia. Otherwise, we are born as nationals. They give us the ability to choose between the two. But you were born a national first. You, you were natural. At one point in time, there was no such thing as a citizen of the United States. There were state citizens like the forefathers and us because they were born and there was no national government. There was no federal government. There were just... You born in that area, you are a state citizen or a statesman. You are a national, native, nati, natural, nati, native, nat ion alls, natural ion alls, nationals and citizens of the United States at birth, okay? So the following shall be nationals, okay? Which this should also source 8 USC 1101-22B, or should say, or this should be, this should either be, this should be 22A. So this could be, so Cornell Law, whichever one of you guys, probably some guy, who watches this? Source should be 8 USC 1101 21 now, and then also 8 USC 1101 22A, if you're going to be correct and have the secondary term listed underneath this, if you're doing, you want to do your job correctly. All right. So, what does it say here? A person born in the United States. Okay, okay, okay. This is serious, guys. Check this out. 
So in order to be a national and a citizen, one of the following must be met. A person born, a person born in the United States. Okay, and then it says, oh, and subject to the jurisdiction of. Okay, but once again, so to be a national or a citizen, you can be either or both. You can be the private national or the public citizen. As long as at least one of these down the letter H has been met. And just going with A, a person, which in this case, the federal government speaks in individuals, which means a living one, born in the United States. Well, let's look at their definition of the United States. Once again, here we go. Alaska, Hawaii, and then it, it they don't want to put all 50, so they shorten it up. The problem is, is to hide it, some cocksucker, no offense to suckers of cock out there, decided to go, oh, we're just going to say Guam, the Marianas, because it says such as, or herein before the word Guam. They don't, they they don't have, it doesn't say only these places. They can't say that. If they put the own word only, then they are committing a federal offense. It is a lie. You are deliberately deceptive and deceiving the American people. That is fraud. And if you see an explanation with the word DC in there, then they're talking about the corporation. And then you won't see any of these. So that's why you have to be able to interpret by what they have there. So if it's saying right here, if you're born in any of these areas, you are a national. Done deal. Case is over. Point proven. Wrap it up, B. Go ahead. Try to beat the logic. It says it right here. Unless you can read, unless you can't. I don't know. My IQ is almost 160. What's yours? I can read just fine. Nationals and citizens at birth. The following shall be nationals. They didn't say all of these have to be in place. We need it. We need one. Give me one. Okay. Well, then I go 8 USC code uh, 1401A, a person born in the United States. Boom. United States includes all of these places, continentally, Alaska, Hawaii, and all the rest of these. But if you're going to hide it, then you chop it right here and you put the word such as or herein, because it means all of these. They're saying you should have enough common sense to know that it includes the 50 organic states, not the corporate states in this particular situation. And notice how they don't say U.S. citizens here, because they're talking about citizens of the United States, which I know they're changing the definition of this because this now means all of the other um, statuses of citizens of the United States. Federal employee, federal citizens, state citizen, U.S. citizen, those are all contained underneath here. And for them, U.S. citizen, which is different than directly mentioned a citizen of the United States, a U.S. citizen is born in the District of Columbia, but they get love too because we have that partnership because of these codes. This term encompasses all of them, but when used here, they're saying, yeah, you can be a national who was born here organically under the Constitution for the United States of America, America, or one of these, which encompasses all the rest of these contained. You can be. So even a deep sea born citizen or national, because if you were born there, you can claim you're a national of DC. I think it's called a Washingtonian or something like that. Or you can be a citizen, a legal person. 
All those fall underneath here. They can't do it with the word national because a national is a real thing. It's not a legal fiction. It wasn't created by man. A citizen of the United States can, can contain something created like a U.S. citizen or all the other statuses and standings out there. This is how they abridge certain certain things. Okay. The person born in the United States, a member of the Indian, Eskimo, Aleutian, or, or it says, or of their Aboriginal tribes. So your last name, if your Pam family and family, family, family been here forever and a day, are Aboriginal tribes. You may not necessarily be looked at as indigenous, but after two and three generations, your your last name is not a last name; it's a tribe. You have not claimed it. Any poor person born outside of the United States, we just talked about that. It's the beginning of this. Do you have? A person with of unknown parentage found in the United States while under the age of five. I just helped a, a lady out with this uh, about a month ago. I didn't know the code offhand, but this is the code. It's all right here. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for this educational hour. If you were so entertained or moved, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. It does help with the algorithms and keeps the trolls at bay. All four or five of those people out there. I'm probably sure it's from one of all the major municipalities out there. And but see, obviously we're doing something right because we're getting none of my videos are under a I think like a 90. 88 or 90% thumbs up approval rate. So thank you guys for helping to do the research and do the work and to support me against all those people out there. It's funny. There's people in the same movement or whatever you want to call it, even though we're not a part of the sovereign citizen movement, we are absolutely, absolutely against that. Okay? There's no such actual legal standing or status. But... You guys help me against all those people out there who are against this. And it's funny because you're only against me because you don't actually know the law. You don't know the legality, the legal ease, the style manual of it. What does this mean on a minutia level in law? Does it have a standing? You don't know that. Or you're jealous because my channel is doing better than yours. Or you're jealous because I have a better delivery. Or you're jealous because I don't rip people off. Or I tell people not to go to people like certain people who rip people off. You can make a ton of money in this by be just being a legitimate person. You don't have to be a scammer or, or any of that stuff. Like, if you do a good job, people will, will keep, uh, you know, coming to you and recommend you. I charge very reasonable prices and I do okay. Are there people who have learned what I teach now and are making more money? Yeah, I'm not jealous of them. I'm happy for them. I'm like, do your thing. Would I like to be making more? I could. But I don't want my information to only seem like it can only reach people with X amount of dollars because this is for everybody. So, but here's the thing if you can get the money, get it. But then provide the quality product. It was for everybody and the service, and be there, and be a man or a woman of your word. That's it. All right, guys, I'm out. Enjoy the weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm loving that summer is here. Man, oh, man. All right. Go have a little fun in the sun, and I'll talk to you guys later. Check out blacksite32.com. Thanks for supporting. If you haven't hit that um, subscribe, then subscribe, because I need you guys to get me to 100. Just a personal goal after that. I don't really care because I highly doubt that this channel will ever get to 500 or a million. Um, if it does, that'd be great. 100 is my goal. It seemed impossible when I first started this. And, um, you know, that's it. So help me get there and I will keep delivering this information. 
uh, should if not and the numbers don't look right, then I'll just jump on my other channels and play over there. So you guys take care.